Today, we're exploring a helpful Excel technique, hiding zero values in your spreadsheets. This can be useful for making your data appear cleaner and more professional. First, let's clarify the difference between hiding and removing zeros. When you hide a zero, the value is still there, just not visible in the cell. This means if you use the cell in a calculation, Excel will still treat it as zero. On the other hand, removing a zero means deleting the value, leaving the cell empty, which can affect calculations. Let's start with hiding zero values in a specific range. This method is perfect if you only want to hide zeros in part of your spreadsheet rather than the entire sheet. Begin by selecting the range of cells where you want to hide zeros. Right-click on the selected area and choose Format Cells. In the Format Cells dialog box, click on the Custom category. Here, you can enter a custom number format. Use the format 0 semicolon symbol, minus 0, 2 semicolon symbols, then the at sign. This format tells Excel to display positive numbers, as is negative numbers with a minus sign, hide zeros, and display text unchanged. Click OK, and voila! The zeros in your selected range are now hidden, but the values still exist. If you need to hide zeros for the entire worksheet, Excel has a built-in feature for that. Go to the File tab and click on Options. In the Excel Options dialog box, select the Advanced tab. Scroll down to the Display Options for this worksheet section. Uncheck the box labeled Show a zero in cells that have zero value. Click OK, and now all zeros in your worksheet will be hidden. Remember, the values are still there in the cells, just not visible. Sometimes, you might want to use conditional formatting to hide zeros. This is particularly useful if you have specific formatting needs, like colored backgrounds. Here's how you do it. Select the range of cells you want to format. Go to the Home tab, click on Conditional Formatting, and choose New Rule. This action brings up the New Formatting Rule dialog box, allowing you to create a custom rule based on specific conditions. Choose Format Only Cells that Contain to Apply Formatting based on the content of the cells. After selecting this, you'll see options at the bottom to define the rule. Set the first dropdown to Cell Value, the second dropdown to Equal To, and then type 0 in the third box. This tells Excel to apply the formatting rule to any cell that contains a zero. Next, click on the Format button to open the Format Cells dialog box. Here, you can decide how the cells should look when the condition is met. Go to the Font tab and in the Color dropdown, select White, or whatever color matches your background. This choice makes zeros invisible against a white background. Click OK in the Format Cells dialog box to confirm your choices, and you'll be taken back to the New Formatting Rule dialog box. Click OK again to apply the rule to your selected range. Now take a look at your range to see the effect. The zeros should blend into the background, appearing invisible. If your worksheet background isn't white, adjust the font color accordingly to ensure the zeros are hidden effectively. If you need to make adjustments to the formatting, Return to Conditional Formatting in the Home tab, select Manage Rules, and modify or delete your existing rules as needed. Finally, if you decide that hiding zeros isn't enough and you want to remove them entirely, you can use Excel's Find and Replace feature. This is useful if you want to clear zeros from your dataset entirely. Press Ctrl plus H to open the Find and Replace dialog box. In the Find What box, type zero, and leave the Replace With box empty. Click on Options and check Match Entire Cell Contents. This ensures that only cells with just a zero are affected. Click Replace All, and Excel will remove all zero values, leaving those cells empty. And there you have it. You now know multiple methods to hide or remove zero values in Excel. These techniques will help you present cleaner, more professional spreadsheets tailored to your specific needs. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more Excel tips and tricks. Leave a comment below if you have any questions or topics you'd like us to cover. Thanks for watching.
and happy excelling.